All right. Very good. Let's have a look at graphing linear equations. First half of this video, we'll be looking at what the graphs look like on a website known as Desmos Graphing Calculator. And we're going to look at four equations and how to graph them. First one, y equals 2x plus 1. Now, if I was graphing this from scratch, I'd know straight away that this plus 1 means that's that point there called the y-intercept, where it crosses the y-axis at plus 1. And the 2 here means that that's the gradient, the slope. Let's have a look. Rise over run. From here, let's say to here. From that to there, we've got a rise of 2. Level with the 1, going up to the 3, that's a rise of 2. And the run is 1. 2 over 1, which equals 2. So that's our gradient, our slope. So that number there tells us the slope, gradient. That one tells us the y-intercept. Next one. Y equals one third x minus two. Okay, so move it down. Straight away, minus two, we know that's one point we can plot straight away. The y intercept at minus two. And what about this slope of one third? Let's see how that works. Rise of one, run of three. Let's use this point here. And that one there. So from there to there, the line rises up one, goes up one, rise of one, and the run is three. One over three. Rise over run. Next one. Minus 2x plus three. Okay, let's move it up. Very good. The plus 3 means there's the first point we graph the y-intercept at plus 3. Minus 2, which means we're going downhill. The rise is minus 2. And the run is 1. So the next point we can graph is that one. Down 2, across 1. Minus 2. So first point there, we can graph. Second point, we can graph that one, where it's down two and across one. Lastly, minus a half x minus one. Let's move it up. Okay. So grabbing this one, we can put one point there straight away at minus one and then we've got to work out minus a half so we're going down one and across two down one across two that's the second point we can graph minus a half x minus one let's have a look what that looks like on the powerpoint so y equals 2x plus 1. Thank you. y equals 2x plus 1. So straight away, plus 1 is our first point we can graph. There it is. And then we go up to and across one, one, two, across one, that can be our second point. Right there, once you've got the two points, so the winder set point of plus one, and then up to and across one. Once you've got those two, you can draw the line that connects them. There's the graph. Next one. Y equals the third x minus two. So we're going to start at minus 2 as the y-intercept. 
Next point, we've got to find a gradient of one third. So we go up one and across three. Up one, across three. That's our second point we can graph. Once you've got the two points, draw the line. That's the line y equals one third x minus two. Y equals minus 2x plus 3. So we start with the plus 3. That's our first point right there, plus 3. And minus 2 means we're going to go down 2 and across 1. Down 2, across 1. Second point, there. There it is. Join the points to the line. There's y equals minus 2x plus 3. Next one. Y equals a minus a half x minus 1. So we start with our minus 1 right there, minus 1. Minus a half means we go down 1 and across 2. Down 1, across 2. There's our point. Draw the line. Y equals minus a half x minus 1. Thank you very much.